Welcome to another video in the Unity UI extensions tutorial series. In this one we're going to cover the, prim the primitives controls which are separated out in the latest update. As you can see here we have the line render and line render texture, texture controls. Uh, for, though, for the demonstration of those I suggest you look at the previous video for those specifically. In this one we're going to cover the new UI circle and down graph. So we switch over to Unity. Like most other controls that are in the Unity UI extension projects we provide full editor control to add these in. So we simply go to Game Object, UI, Extensions, and we've added a new primitive section, which if it stays up, it's even better to actually see. So you can see we've got the line range and line range texture already, already put in here, and we've got the new circle and diamond graph. A quick look at the circle, because this is suddenly one of my favorite primitives controls at the moment, is you have the option to be able to show it fill or without fill. If you, without fill, you can actually then set a line width to say how thin or thick you want it. Careful how small you get with this because it can get quite hard to see. You can also then control how many segments that the actual circle primitive has, just to help reduce the amount of vertices that are generated as part of the primitive itself. And also, as I found, some interesting effects you can get on it as well. Because the other, the other feature with this control is that we can actually control the fill percent. So you can actually get some interesting effects, especially going to start animating these things. Let's try circling that round. Again, with the fill, the same thing applies. We can switch this back up and get a nice little signal. So like the image fill there, it's just taking it that step further and it's all in a basic print control. You can apply texture, text, materials to this, a texture, or applying the color itself. Um, because this is based off a, a gra graphic control, it also can be used as a raycast target if you wish. The other one you can have is a slightly simpler. It's the diamond graph, which is just a basic, it's just a simple diamond, four points in space and filled, filled through. This is also mainly there so you can actually see um, how these things are built up in code. So we look at these and go to scripts, primitives on their own separate folder now. And we look at things like the diamond graph, you can see in here just how simple these things are to build. Is that um, we're controlling points and we're using the new unpopulate mesh functionality, which was added as part of Unity 5.2. Uh, certainly created a bit of a headache for myself to actually update all the existing controls that used the old onfillbo method, such form. Uh, but anyway, you can see here where we had adding vertices, importantly adding triangles, if you're just adding vertices, and then filling the mesh that you're actually build, building it there. So I hope you have a lot of fun with the primitive controls, and I'd also ask the community to try and offer even more examples of different primitives you can actually add in here. Um, I'm also trying to look at a different line renderer control, because a few people have asked for ability to draw a line from point to point. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this session, and on with the next one.